Sup and good day, gamers. A formal bust here with Realm Grinder. Uh, first impression of it at the very least. Uh, but first, before we get into everything, our sponsor, as always, H2O. Drink it up, gamers, or die. Mm. Very quenchy. Okay. So, this is the options. You launch the game and it starts in a window mode. Nope, sorry. It starts in window mode. And this is your options, so <laughs> don't know what most of these do. They look like mostly in-game stuff, disable non-manual clicks, block background clicks, disable mini sliding animation, and tooltips and stuff. We're gonna leave this all the same. Um, oh, so there is a borderless full screen option. I do not see a full screen full screen option, so I believe this just runs in window. And uh, this was released back in June of 2017. Uh, developed by Divine Games and published by Congregate. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, uh, correctly. Steam description is Grow Your Realm, Build Alliances, and Explore One of the Deepest Idle RPGs Ever. Well, I don't know how deep you can get with an idle RPG, but we'll see what it has in it. Uh, and funnily enough, uh, the descriptors for genre of this game are free to play. Clicker, strategy, pixel graphics. So it doesn't even, you know, call itself an RPG in Steam, funnily enough. Uh, has mostly positive reviews on Steam, but it only has about 5,000 reviews. Okay. Uh, you also have cloud options and saving options. And I don't know, yeah. Oh, and there's a hard reset. So if you want to reset the game, you can do that. Uh, language and... Okay, so audio just is mute, and you can change the level. All right, good. All right, we're going to go through, I guess this has some sort of tutorial. There are microtransactions in this game. I have yet to see what they are. So we're just going to go through the tutorial. Okay. So clicking in the game gets you coins. Click here. Oh, up here, top right. So cost 10 coins, and yeah. Okay, you can purchase multiple at a time. That's good. All right, so we're just going to get a farm, and it automatically puts it there. Okay, so you can't really decide where you want it. All right. And I guess, yep, this is a clicker and an idle game, it seems, then. Upgrade panels. Uh, okay, so you can upgrade your buildings that you build. Crop rotation. Okay. Okay. As a ruler, as the ruler in charge, you also have been blessed with the power of magic. Of course I have. So, mana. Uh, magical power clicking on the tax collection spell. Okay, that's kind of funny. I'll give it to them. 30 seconds uh, worth of coin production from buildings and assistance. Estimated coin gain. Six, okay. Nice. And call to arms looks like this increases the production of all buildings based on the amount of buildings you own for 20 seconds. So this is kind of an overtime, this is an instant uh, thing. Okay. Let's do that and yep. Yep, so that gets me plenty of coins. Um, let's get some more in, uh, farms and let's buy one in and one blacksmith. Great. <laughs> All right, let's check out the shop, see what these microtransactions are. Okay, Gift of the Heroes increases the production of all buildings by 25%. So, yeah, okay. It seems like the microtransactions do have direct gameplay implications. I don't really like that very much. Yeah, pretty much all of them. So they have a time warp thing. Yeah, fast forward the game and earn coins and trophies as if you were offline for the same amount of time. Yeah, that's not great. Gym conversion. Add your hard-earned gems to your collection without resetting. You will not gain any gem by converting your coins now, so go grind to get some more. And rubies. So, rare resource in the game. And they unlock new trophies. Okay. Uh, upgrades. Okay. So, I don't have any upgrades. Can I... Yeah, escape doesn't really work. Found a faction coin, which can be used to form alliances with different factions in this realm. They can be found... Randomly, when clicking, open the upgrades panel to view them. So, upgrades. Now build five farms. Okay. Ah, so all your different faction coins. 
faction coins are found. Yeah, yeah, you can use these to make royal exchanges or if this is your faction to purchase alliance packs. So, yeah, the, no description on the factions. They're just six different colored factions. Cool. All right, the game told me to build some farms. So we're gonna build some farms. Doesn't look like this adds any farms to the map. It just looks like it, you know, I only have the one farm here, but it doesn't add it anywhere, so. Okay, yes, and it increased, every time you purchase, like many clicker games, every time you purchased uh, something, it increases the price of that. All right. Demon coin, great, great. Let's check out the trophies, because I've apparently earned... Trophies represent the great deeds you achieved during your reign. Okay, discover seven trophies. Okay, so... A million coins, so on my way to doing that. Which one? Clouded, register... Okay, so, because I'm on Steam, get that one for free. Do I get anything from it? No, I just... It's a trophy. All right. Nice to see you can minimize these. Building-related trophies, magic-related trophies, secret trophies. Okay. Well, this seems very much like a clicker, and I'm sure the more you get into the game, the more you unlock to do with clicking and not clicking. Uh, let's see if we have any upgrades. Sturdy Treasure increases base clicking reward by plus four, while offline generates one click per second. It's pretty good. Get that. Yes, if you're into clicker games, this is very much for you. Okay, I assume you can upgrade your mana regen, because currently I get one mana per second. Assistance. Assistance... Oh, hold on. Assistance help you gather coins and... Faction coins passively based on your clicking reward and faction coin find chance. Even when you're offline, so there it is. Idle game, you can obtain more assistance by purchasing the first two... Yeah, you can obtain more assistance by purchasing the first two tiers of building upgrades, or with many other unique upgrades later in the game. You, so I have one assistant to start, and they're producing zero coins per second. Very good assistant. Very good. Now, specifically, what do these do? They just produce... Okay, so they don't do anything. They just produce different amounts of coins per second. So, let's get these up to 10. All right. Upgrades. Okay, so. Okay, so you can, so you can refill your mana by just purchasing it. Uh, okay, so upgrades do give you assistance as well. So let's get that and that. That's that. And I guess I have the one assistant here. I guess it's the only place I have it shows assistance on the map. I thought this was going to be a lot more... I don't know, like you would play stuff, or it's not really that at all. It's really just a clicker straight up uh, with idle production, of course. Yeah, this seems to be the whole gameplay. Yep, this is a clicker game. This is very much a clicker game. What are these? Rubies? Oh. Oh, now I must choose my path. Are you a good or an evil tyrant? I don't know. What is this? What is this over here? Okay, so. Nice, you can toggle the user interface. I wonder if I can move around here at all. Nope, it's just clicking. Okay. Tips and hints. Okay, you should gather 25,000 coins and choose an alignment. Well, I've gained that many coins. I don't know how to choose my alignment. <laughs> uh, upgrades, maybe? Ah! Okay, so yes, proof of good deed. Give yourself the good side, unlocking good related features. The good alignment is orientated to more active gameplay. Okay, so there is actual build difference. Focusing on spells, productive clicks. Evil villain, unlocking evil related features. Evil alignment is orientated to a more idle gameplay. Focusing on steady and passive. Okay, so we're gonna go with good just because this is a first impression. I'm hopefully not going to idle this game very much. Okay, and my whole map changed a little bit. You have chosen the good alignment, a fine choice. You have unlocked many more buildings that you can now purchase. I see that. Click these buttons to simplify. Click this button to simplify building purchase. Buy one? Ah, okay. 
Mm, joined forces with a powerful faction. Open the upgrade panel to see who's ready. Okay. All right. Uh, affiliate with the fairies now or accumulate 20 different faction coins to choose another faction. Uh, we're going to go with the fairies, probably. Focus on the small and common things and make them magically powerful. Affiliating yourself with the fairy faction will hugely improve the output of low tier buildings. Well, that seems good since we're doing, you know, just this first impression, probably. Royal Exchange. You may accumulate fairy coins to purchase a friendship pact or spend unused coins to gain a production bonus. Click the Royal Exchange button. Uh, okay. Bonus column refers to the individual bonuses of a single royal exchange not affected by ascension modifiers. Okay, so. Sure. So, cost, okay, yeah. We're gonna. We're not gonna deal with that anymore, I think. Uh, magic potion. That seems fine. Nice to see that you can see your purchased upgrade so you know how to play <laughs> what you should be doing uh, let's do tax collection real quick uh, what else do we have warrior barracks okay I don't think this does anything I'll build one oh I'm on by 10 that's why Let's do buy one, Knight's Joust, and a Wizard Tower. So, also seems like I have new mana powers for joining the fairies. Increase clicking by, that's pretty good, for 10 seconds. Increase the production of farms, that ends blind. Okay, so yeah, so both those are low tier and clicking based. All right. Grades. Oh, what's this do? Bronze weapons, increase war repair. Okay, yep. Uh, increases base clicking reward by plus 45. Okay, went offline, yes. Filled treasures, 10,000 coins. Uh, increases clicking reward by 25% of the production and of all buildings, so that's general overall. Um, fairy friendship, okay. Seems to be a very simple clicker game. You just pick something and you keep going with it. The music's good, I'll give him that. You can very much see this, like with many uh, clicker games being kind of in the background. Ah, I got a million coins. Uh, Cathedral. We'll save up for a Cathedral next, see what that adds to the game. I don't think much. I think these buildings are just, like I said, passive income. Yeah, 178, 275, 893... Kind of frustrating that they don't tell you the production before you buy them, but that's a lot of clicker games do that. It's just like, buy the next thing, you're supposed to buy the next thing, keep going. Okay. Cathedral. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really one for clicker games. I played uh, the paperclip. A clicking game if you're aware of that where you turn all the matter in the universe into paper clips and that's probably the extent of my interest in paper clip games uh, increase farm production let's do that and increases night joust production okay yeah like I said if you know clicker games this is a clicker game <laughs> there's not much to explain about it uh, this one is free to play like a lot of them uh, I do dislike the microtransactions but I mean hey it's a clicker game. How, how else are they supposed to monetize it, you know? The size scale on some of these things is kind of weird, though. 
in the map oh, on the screen though because that's a cathedral and that's a farm mm, don't think those are accurate size comparisons Let's see if we can purchase mana refill. And increases in production, we'll do that too. Okay. I thought I purchased a mana refill. Shame, doesn't seem to have gone through. Or I misread what the actual upgrade was. Ah, just increases my mana regen, I see, I see. Uh, increases blacksmith production. Let's do that, too. Gonna try and save up and see what the holy light, the, yeah, holy light and fairy chanting seem both very good. Yeah, I'll keep playing this for a little while uh, on here, but it, like I said, it's a clicker game. There doesn't seem to be much. I'm sure it does get very in-depth in everything you can buy, because, I mean, I already have an option to buy something that's worth trillions of, dollars, uh, of coins. fairy coins and I have not a hundred uh, arcane circle sure Okay, about halfway there to uh, fairy chanting and holy light. I wonder though, 50,000%. Yeah, yeah, definitely fairy chanting is much better than uh, holy light, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of the, uh, in clicker games, you mostly wanna, f uh, I mean, I know he went against this because I did not do uh, Evil, which it seems evil's built for people who are going to idle this game. Which honestly, if I were going to play this game for a prolonged period of time, I'm I'll idle it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit and have this open. Best way to play a clicker game that has idle uh, um, aspects to it is to check it once a day. You know, don't don't get too much into it, too invested. Well, let's try and save up for a citadel. That's seven. No, no, sorry. Yeah, 7.3 million. And probably on the way to do that, we will buy the... Or use mana to cast Fairy Chanting. Do I have... Nope. Nope. None. Okay. Alright, we're on our way to a couple million then. Oh, 
don't know if I said it yet, but this, I really like the audio on this, the music. What does buy smart mean? <laughs> I smart. Town grinder. Okay. Do not think that, uh, town grinder. <laughs> town grinder. I'm not going to go into all of these upgrades, though. Warrior Barracks production, sure. Ninety-one, so we almost have enough fairy coins. And we should have enough for the Citadel soon, too. We'll get the Fairy's Friendship Pact. Unlock Fairy Upgrades. Okay. Uh, I guess this is the Fairy Cuisine. Increase the base production of inns. That's nice. Increase the base production of blacksmiths. And blacksmiths also increase mana regenerate. Okay, so that's good. Let's get uh, joust production, though. Oh, there was more fairies. Assistant, tra <laughs> assistant trade union. Increase the productions of all building by 1% per assistant you own. Okay. Increase cathedral production. Okay. Like I said, we'll save up for that uh, citadel there. Almost there. Almost. 7.3, right? Alright, Citadel. Okay, where'd they, where'd they put the Citadel? That's barracks. Okay. I bought a Citadel. It's somewhere. <laughs> Another, yeah. Base clicking. Oh, that's very good. Kind of interesting that you can't sell your non uh, your other faction coins, especially because I guess they're just gonna pile up. I oh, wish I have upgrades out. It's really all I'm probably gonna be able to purchase as we continue on. Five hundred fairy coins for fairy alliance, which just unlocks more fairy upgrades. So so far, it seems you it seems that your alliances just give you more access to upgrades. Which, since there's six different uh, uh, factions, I guess there's apparently six different ways. And I assume, oh, I can go here. So there's fairy, elven, angel, goblin, undead, demon. So I assume angel, elven, and fairy you're gonna want to stick with if you are 
good and goblin, undead, and demon you're going to want to stick with if you're evil. Although I'm sure there's probably plenty of chances for crossover. Um, you know, specific builds that... Alright, let's do this. Ooh, yes! That is that is very, very good. Uh, Production-wise. Oh, wow! I s hmm. It's very much worth it. Uh, let's get cathedrals. Zerg towers. Get those. Okay. Uh, great. So abdicating will reset all buildings, upgrades, and coins, but you'll keep your trophies and be awarded with gems that will boost your production. Okay, so like many different other games, you can you can essentially reset your progress so far, and you'll get a gem, a, a, a different kind of currency. And in this case, it seems gems will boost my production. Otherwise, you may also spend rubies. Of course, there's a way to spend actual money to reset yourself and increase production without resetting. So I won't, so yeah. As of now I won't, but coins required for the next gym, one trillion. So I need one trillion to get one gym, yeah. It's usually a very pricey uh, process to do that, restart the game. We have new farms, inns, mana. okay, yes, increase the mana based on the amount of good buildings you own. So this is a way to increase your mana so you can, I guess, cast most, uh, have a higher total mana. Great right, cuisine, golden pots. Golden pots, increase the base production of inns. Okay, sorry, that's golden pots. Increase the clicking reward by 20% of the production of farms. Okay, nice. Alright, we're gonna go with uh, tower production. Yeah, I think I'm going to pretty much leave it here. Uh, I mean, you can get, you know, I'm sure you upgrades and everything continue to be shown. I am interested in what this is. It's probably something similar to abdication, but, you know, costs more. Interesting game. Uh, good take on, uh, interesting take on the, you know, clicker and uh, idle game kind of gameplay. Personally, this game isn't for me, but it is free to play, so if you want something to entertain yourself with for a little bit, you know, it's free to play. You don't have to spend any money, um, but as with most, you know, in-game purchases, this does probably increase, well, it doesn't probably, it does for sure increase your ability to progress through the game, which I dislike, but, you know, I, I would suggest if you're going to get this game at all, just get it, have fun with it, don't spend any money on the in-game shop. But yeah, uh, I mean, comparable games, there's there's many. There's many clicker games out there. Uh, plenty are different, popular. Uh, a lot of them are free to play. Either, most of them you don't have to put any money into to get to play. But yeah, I'll leave it right here. I've been a formal bust. Thank you very much for watching, gamers. I uh, hope you enjoyed this content as much as I did making it. Uh, yeah, until next time, gamers, take care of yourselves and drink some H2O.